It's time for us to meet one of our first guests, or what, next guests on the show today. And her name is Goodness Egbe. Now, she goes by the stage name Omatuti, and that's how you can find her on social media. And this is one actor to look out for in Nollywood. Now, she's gearing up to take the movie space by storm, uh, but she's also done a lot of preparation. She apparently has a BA in theater and media studies and has been in numerous films, one of which I'm a big fan of, Dichi, and of course, Jennifer's Diary. Something fresh coming out from her soon. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. First of all, your name, goodness, already. Uh, I love that name. I, it's Thank just you. one of those names that just pops out at me. Um, and you've hit the industry and you're taking it in your stride, right? How did this begin for you? Okay, from the grassroots would be when I was in church as a child. I've always wanted to be an actor. I featured in a lot of um, church dramas, mm. groups, and all of that, and mm. it was good. So I started building the foundation from there. Okay. And then from I, I moved to the next stage, where was I studied theater and media studies in school. Okay. And graduated in 2019. So the issue for me is you told your family that this is what you wanted to do, or was it one of those cases where you wanted to study law <laughs> or something else, and then suddenly they were like, mm, just take theater? Was that how it was? No, my parents let me do what I wanted to do. Seriously? I think they saw the talent in me. I think oh. they did, yeah. Okay. From church. All right. They were really proud of me. I can only imagine being proud of you there. But that's just one thing when a young person wants to do something and then, you know, it's another thing to actually get it done and oh. be selected for projects like the ones you've been in. I can, I can only say it's God, honestly, because I don't even know how I got to where I am today. But it's, it's been a smooth ride. Oh, yeah, it's been smooth. Okay. You know, in every ride, there's always where you encounter one. Mm. I've, I've had one of those hurdles before, mm. but so far it's smooth. All right, so talk to me what it's, uh, about what it's like on set these days. <sighs> mm. uh, what? <laughs> what? What is like being on set these days? Mm. So for most of us, like for me now that I'm, I'm, an, I'm an introvert, okay. meeting people, um, interacting with people is mm. part of my job. Okay. And in as much as it's part of my job, it is very tedious. Okay. I do it because I have to do it. Mm. But yeah, it's, I think it's another form of networking, mm. meeting people, socializing. It's just, it just keeps building and building. And so, you know, you're used to it. A lot of people get really pressured on set, you know, maybe when they're working with other big names. Let's talk about some of the other uh, characters, big names you've worked with. Okay, I've worked with... Um, <laughs> and now all the names have left my head. Oh, well <laughs> I've worked with... Well, quite a few. Yeah, quite a few. I've worked, well, for, um, let's say for um, uh, producers, I've worked with James Omokwe on Diche, and on that project, I worked with other people, other um, um, actors, upcoming and the rest of it. I've worked with, um, on that project, I worked with Faiwara. Mm. I've worked with Mufei Duncan. Mm. I've worked with, um, right, no, right now, I don't remember. So now, but that's the thing, you're, 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 you're essentially still quite young in the industry. Sure. And there are a lot of other young ladies like you in the industry. So you, you have to, have some sort of pressure how do you deal with competition competition as long as it's healthy i'm not even a competitive person but mm. i just go in there and do my thing but as long as competition is healthy mm. let's get into it but you have to you have to tell me what you mean by healthy though you need to oh, okay sort of break it down healthy competition in this industry would mean that okay you go for an audition and you don't get called back but your mm. friend does get the call back so you're happy for them mm. the next one you get it it's just there's no hate mm. there's no backbiting mm. there's no hatred no jealousy you just keep it going and you get yourself there i, I actually it's just giving me a flashback to when i used to do a lot of auditions back in the day <sighs> Um, now, the pressure out auditions can be crazy. Crowds and all that. How have you been able to deal with that? <laughs> so I'm a very friendly person. Mm. I, don't, I don't have to encounter too, ma too many people. Or I, no, I do encounter too many people, but I don't have to do too much. Mm. I'm already friendly. I'm social. So I just go there and do my thing. I speak to whoever I have to speak with, <laughs> smile. You know, it's very easy. But handling the nose can be a lot, though, don't you think? 
<laughs> well, yes, handling the rejections mm -hmm. and all of that, but it's part of the process. Mm -hmm. You need to have a success story, and these are the things that build your success story. A lot of no's can amount to a very big yes, and we're waiting for that yes. Yes, so I actually <laughs> feel like a few of those big yeses has already started yes, coming your way. It is. Uh, now, it there's is. something that's out on, I think, Africa Magic now? Oh, yes. It is called Unscripted. Unscripted. Unscripted, yeah. It's an okay. African original, African Magic original series. All right. Okay, so right. let us know what that's about. Okay, Unscripted is a show, is a TV reality show, okay. but we're focusing on the reunion of the housemates. Mm. And it's giving us a backlash on mm. everything that has happened, that happened in the house, and we're treating issues in the reunion show. It's quite chaotic. Okay. So, let me, let me, so let me step back a bit. You are saying that this is a drama mm -hmm. focused on the reunion of a reality show. That already happened off screen. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, we, there is a very major reality show that has taken the world by storm, not True. just Nigeria. True. Uh, is it focused on that particular show? No, 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 no. No? It is highly scripted. Oh, <laughs> highly scripted. It is, it is called unscripted, but it is highly scripted. Mm. So yes, it All is right. not based on that. It's okay. based on an imaginary lifestyle of people. Your, your own character, who is she? Cassie. Mm. Cassie is <laughs> Cassie is a lawyer mm. and uh, she's a very she's a rich lawyer. Okay. And she doesn't take no for an answer. She uh. takes a bull by the horn. Okay. She's rich, she's outspoken, she's bold mm. and very chaotic. She's I feisty. Her. She's feisty. Oh. I crack her. Okay, so she is she the one to look out for? Is she the oh. antagonist in this? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> Cassie <laughs> Cassie is there's no scene of Cassie that you will not enjoy. I put it to you. No wow. jokes. All right. She's that kind of person. The way you put it across, I can't wait to see but it. You have to. It shows. But you've played a role in a drama about a reality show. Would you actually ever go for a true reality show? <sighs> <laughs> she paused. <laughs> I, I think I would. You would? I would. Really? I would. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't see that coming. I thought maybe because you've sort of seen what the behind the scenes could turn to, the backbiting, I think the negative energy. The, the purpose of reality shows is to go there and show the world what you're capable of. Mm. And that would be my only target. Just go there and show the world, hey, this is me and I can do this. Okay. All right, all right. So I, I, I honestly, I actually think about reality shows sometimes. I've, I've, well, hey, I've wanted to do that myself. But acting as if you are in or you were in a reality show, that's another ball game altogether. Um, now, with the reality shows that are more common these days, there can be a lot of indecent exposure involved. True. Yeah. True. Um, have you had to do any sort of roles like that? Exposing a bit much? Well... I did a bit of that in Dichi. You did? <laughs> Just a bit of it. So how did Dichi go? Dichi was a marvelous production. Mm. I loved everything about Dichi. My character, mm. somehow I keep getting these roles that okay. put me there. Okay. But yeah, well, Dichi was a marvelous one. And there's a little bit of it in Unscripted, but you guys won't see it. It's, it's still in the far oh. episode, maybe seven. Wow. So how indecent are we talking? Uh, uh, not so very indecent. Just... <laughs> What? Subtle. Just the top, top off? Subtle, subtle. Top off? Yeah, top off a bit. Top off. All right, all a right. bikini. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> That's but awesome. but how, do you, how do your family feel about those, those scenes? Or do you make sure they don't see it? Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, if you're watching. <laughs> what? Mommy, it's bikini. It was, a, it was at a beach. Okay. I wasn't going to be Agbada. Okay. So, right. yeah, that makes it. All right, that works. That works. <laughs> all right, then, but uh, no bedroom activities in that. You know, oh, no, just, no. Yeah, okay, all right, then. No. But it's actually really great to have you here. Uh, we're going to be looking out for unscripted. I actually find that as a very interesting concept. I think it's something that people should have done before now. But we're the first to do it. You're the first to do it in so, Nigeria. In Nigeria. So, mm -hmm. right now, we've made our mark mm -hmm. in history. All right. So, who else is in unscripted? Ah, we have beautiful people. Mm. We have Charles Lenny, who played Olami Day. We have Obey, mm. Obey Aburime, he played King. We have um, Uche, uh, no, okay, what's her name? <laughs> Shalewa, she mm. played Uche, and Alasha Willard played, um, what's her name? Mm. Lulu. We had fantastic actors. Mm. Nonzo Basi, he played Frank. 
We have mm. Ebenezer. She played Jamelia. The, mm. It was it's beautiful. All right. It's actually beautiful. I'm loving the fact that you you've created this family on this set, and you're I I can feel the energy, the positive energy coming from you. You're really looking forward to this, yes? I am, I am. Looking forward to it. I am. And I'm really excited you use the term family because that's exactly who they are. Are you serious? They are. So no, a lot. no negative vibes on set, nothing? Nothing? I c there's no negativity around me. Okay. I bring the positive energy everywhere I go. So yeah. All right. Well, uh, honestly, I'm loving it. I'm loving the vibe already. Mm. And it's something I'm really interested in. Mm. I would love to see how it was directed, how it was put together, because it's can be complicated to shoot a show within a show. Well, if you have a chaotic director like I did, mm. you Talk won't to have me. issues. Uh, you won't? I won't. I'll have, I'm talking about Stephanie Daddy now. Okay. She's such a chaotic person. I don't know. She has a chaotic <laughs> mind. So it's quite easy to put together that amount of work when you already visualize what you want to achieve. Mm. And then you have good actors who are helping you bring that mm. into manifestation. We're in 21 days of fasting, so okay. allow, allow me to channel it into, <laughs> <laughs> into the Lord. Would you want to, you know, play or rather play the role of the director uh, at any point in time? Would you like to direct? Yes, mm. very much so. So I'm a theater artist, a thespian, mm. and I've seen firsthand direct. Mm where if you're not doing it the right way, mm. the director has the power yeah. to pick up something from the floor, yeah. aim at you. Oh, wow. Yes. Goodness me. Goodness Is me. Is that the kind of director you're going to oh, be? Oh, no, 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 no. But that was because it was a school environment mm. and your grades were sort of dependent on that particular project. Mm. So if you don't do it the right way, yeah. you're going to flop. And when mm. you flop, you don't graduate because mm. it's not that kind of course you, you want to fail. It's just... Oof. Okay. Destroy right. everything. But All yes, right. I'm looking forward to directing. It's been great chatting with you. Goodness, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. We're definitely going to be looking out for Unscripted. Please do. We will. We will. Please do. Thank All you. right, then. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts on our conversation so far. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. And in fact, tag us at TVC, or rather, at Wake Up Nigeria TVCE on Instagram as well. We can't wait to see your thoughts. All right, then. Let's take a quick break. There's still more on Wake Up Nigeria.